A flock of double-crested cormorants foraging in the pond in Jarvis Creek Park. Double-crested cormorants are colonial water birds that seek aquatic bodies big enough to support their mostly fish diet. Double-crested cormorants are very social. They can be found in small and large groups while breeding and during the winter. They breed in colonies and often feed in large flocks. They catch prey by diving underwater to chase it. They may swallow small fish while underwater, but they bring larger prey up to the surface to shake it, clean it, or hammer it on the water before eating. The tip of a cormorant's upper bill is shaped like a hook, which helps catch prey. After diving, cormorants look for an elevated spot to perch with their wings outspread, probably to dry out their feathers. A flock of double-crested cormorants will move from one end of a pond to the other, diving for fish. Great egrets follow the cormorants and position themselves on the edge of the pond to capture the fish escaping the flock of cormorants in the center of the pond. Gulls will position themselves in the pond to pick up pieces of fish dropped by the cormorants.
A cormorant's diet is almost all fish, with just a few insects, crustaceans, or amphibians. When cormorants happen to catch a crustacean like a crayfish, they exhibit a little flare in eating it, hammering the prey on the water to shake its legs off, then flipping it in the air and catching it headfirst for easy swallowing. Double-crested cormorants are colonial water birds that seek aquatic bodies big enough to support their mostly fish diet. Double-crested cormorants are very social. They can be found in small and large groups while breeding in during the winter. They breed in colonies and often feed in large flocks. A flock of double-crested cormorants foraging in the pond in Jarvis Creek Park. <laughs> 